Okay, I'm back here with the second half. Yeah, I checked my time limit and I was right at nine minutes. I just don't think I had enough time to, to finish up the job. So, because I gotta take uh, this upper plate here off and then I gotta flip it over and take a couple screws out of the bottom and then I gotta take all this apart. So, um, I had to split it up into two videos. Um, I wanted to kind of explain the road, okay, since this uh, came from the factory being a V1, okay, the first time I had failure because of, I guess, what they figured out, the first time I had failure with, and the first time it melded this, I replaced it with a V2 only diff mount. So that led to another failure, and this is all uh, learning experience stuff. Um, I used what bearings I could. It's everything in this whole thing is all mixed match and and uh, all that stuff. And it's some of it's V2, some of it's V1. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to replace this with a gunmetal aluminum mount, and I'm going to replace all the shafts, all the gears, all the bearings. Everything's going to be all V2. So that's that's the plan. So I guess uh, start taking her apart. And I know I'm using a Torx bit to take out Allen screws. It's an old mechanics trick, I know. Well, that ain't good either. Got two of them. Stuck. No big deal, I got plenty of fasteners. I just gotta figure out how the hell I'm gonna get them out. Now to make to make this I guess sure I'm gonna go ahead and stop it. Stop filming while I get these two stripped heads out and then I'll be back with the rest of it. Okay, I'm back guys. I got the the two stripped head out. Um, they were actually not that bad. All I had to do is uh, get an Allen wrench and kind of clean them out a little bit. And I don't know how stuff got stuck in there, but let me keep going with disassembly.
Okay. And that was the bushing, brake, brake cam bushing. It goes right there. And it keeps that, the brake cam situated. So then we're just gonna flip that back. Take all these parts. And I'd recommend if you have, if you've never done this, and if you don't have the stuff memories like I do, is um, mark, maybe mark on the brake lever and stuff where you took it out from and all that stuff. So there's the brake cam and how this works is it, that sets in there and the servo turns. And when it turns the cam, it compresses these and it creates a brake. So that's how the brakes work. And then let's see, I'm just trying to decide where I want to go next. I think I'm probably going to go here. I guess sometimes Loctite's your friend. Set that there. And... And of course, there you go. It's, that's the way I've always known it to be tight. So of course I put it back like that. Not knowing what the situation was. For that set screw. So that's not even supposed to be there. <laughs> I had it come loose and I Loctited it. Wow. And all these gears and everything, all this stuff I'm gonna be replacing. Shim in between the gears and everything. And boy, you can see. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I think she scorched worse than she was last time. Okay. Please put back over here. That's the other bushing. Be careful that sucker doesn't pop out on you.
Wow, this is challenging with all this grease. Of course, if I wasn't wearing natural gloves, it probably wouldn't be such an issue either. All three of those. And there you get the the whole thing removed. You got the clutch bell, I'm just checking stuff. Just making sure the clutch bell ain't bent. Cause this is a V2 clutch bell. I don't know how, how it's working with the, well, probably cause this is a V2, uh, yeah, this is a V2 diff mount, V2 clutch bell. Um, and new bearings. So that's probably why this hasn't failed yet, but this is still a V1 center shaft. Plus I had the set screw in it still, and I had everything tight. And then this, and it's all got, well, no, I replaced these two, these two bearings also. So it's got new bearings, but the shaft was still V1. And then all this stuff was all V1. Of course, with the, all the gears and everything were, but that's, I don't know, that's, I think that's worse than it was last time. Wow, I don't even know. I mean, of course I can get it out with a hammer, but I'm gonna be taking off these set screws. You take off these set screws and these shafts will just slide out, except for this one being scorched on a bearing. And, and uh, all you have to do is take out that set screw. Let me see if you can see. That set screw, and then this slides out, and then this will slide apart, and uh, everything. And I, I got all all new stuff coming. The only thing I don't have coming, brand new, is uh, disc brakes and stuff. And I was talking to Red Cat, and that the guy said that I, you know, as long as they look good, they should be fine. Um, but that's kind of kind of what I wanted to go for, and. And everything so um, I guess if if you like today's video I, I know I had to split it up into two, two parts but I guess if you like today's video please uh, give them a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification and and everything we'll see you guys we'll see you guys next time we'll see you later